Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. Alright guys, in this week's video, I want to share a document that was recently released by Scholar Rock. And I've spoken about Scholar Rock in numerous videos because of their potential treatment known as SRK015. This will be the first muscle targeted therapy for those of us with SMA. And they recently released a document showing or announcing positive proof of concept data from their Topaz phase two trial. And I wanna share some of this information with you because I think it's very important for you to know. Now, I'm gonna go through the document and just highlight some of the key points that I think you need to know about. But I will also link the entire document down in the description of my video. So after you listen to what I have to say, make sure that you go down and click on the link and print this document so that you can share it with your family and your friends, but more importantly, share it with your doctors. Okay, so let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting some of the key points that were mentioned in the document that was released by Scholar Rock on Tuesday, October 27th, regarding some of the results in their Topaz Phase 2 trial interim analysis. Remember, a link to this entire document can be found in the description of my video. The Topaz Phase 2 trial consisted of three cohorts, or three different groups, who received different levels of SRK015. Let me first explain each individual cohort so that you have a better understanding as to how this trial took place. Cohort 1. This open-label, single-arm cohort enrolled 23 patients with ambulatory type 3 SMA. Patients are being treated with 20 mg of SRK015, Q4W, either as a monotherapy or in conjunction with an approved SMN upregulator therapy using nusinersen. The primary objectives of this cohort was to assess safety and the mean change from baseline in revised Hammersmith scale. Cohort 2. This open-label single-arm cohort enrolled 15 patients with a mean age of 11.7 years, range 8 to 19 years, with type 2 or non-ambulatory type 3 SMA and who were already receiving treatment with an approved SMN upregulator. Patients are being treated with 20 mg of SRK015, Q4W, in conjunction with an approved SMN upregulator therapy using nusinersen. At baseline, patients had a mean Hammersmith functional motor scale extended score of 22.7, range 13 to 39, out of a total possible score of 66. One patient missed three doses of SRK015 and the six-month interim analysis time point due to COVID-19 related side access restrictions. The six month time point from this patient was not included in the interim analysis. The primary objectives of this cohort were to assess safety and the mean change from baseline in the Hammersmith Functional Motor Scale Extended, also known as HFMSE. Cohort three, this randomized double blind portion of the trial enrolled patients with type two SMA who had initiated treatment with an approved SMN upregulator using nusinersen before five years of age. 20 patients were randomized in a one-to-one -one ratio to receive the low-dose 2 mg SRK015 Q4W or high-dose 20 mg SRK015 Q4W. Both treatment arms are in conjunction with an approved SMN upregulator therapy using nusinersen. Two patients one in high-dose arm and one in low-dose arm, each missed three doses of SRK015 and the six-month interim analysis time point due to COVID-19-related side access restrictions. The six-month time point from these patients were not included in the interim analysis. The primary objectives of this cohort were to assess safety and the mean change from baseline in HFMSE. Okay, now that I've given you the parameters around each individual cohort, let's look at a few of the results that they received during the first six months of this trial. Motor function improvements were observed for all three SRK015 treatment cohorts in the primary efficacy endpoints, Hammersmith scale scores. SRK015 dose response in the primary efficacy endpoint was observed in the randomized double-blind cohort with high dose attaining a 5.6 point mean improvement 
at six months over baseline compared to low dose, attaining a 2.4 point mean improvement over baseline. This was the first clinical data showing the potential therapeutic benefit of ScholarRock's innovative scientific platform of inhibiting the activation of latent myostatin. Remember, myostatin is a growth inhibitor, which is keeping those of us with SMA from building muscle mass and getting stronger. All of us in the SMA community were hoping for great results regarding SRK015, and by what Scholar Rock is reporting in the recent release of their six-month data, it's great news for all of us. The following statement that I'm about to show you should make all of us in the SMA community excited about the potential of this wonderful treatment. These interim results are important because they demonstrate the potential of this muscle-directed approach to improve motor function of individuals with type 2 and type 3 SMA, said Thomas Crawford, MD, Professor of Neurology at the John Hopkins University School of Medicine and lead investigator of the Topaz trial. In the last few years, we've celebrated the remarkable success in treating SMA with SMN upregulating approaches that stabilize against neurodegeneration. These findings highlight the potential for a whole new approach to SMA therapy used in conjunction with the SMN enhancing therapies to address the persistent and significant unmet needs of individuals weakened by SMA. This is an exciting and important step towards establishing SRK015 as the potential first muscle-directed therapy for patients with SMA, while also providing important validation of our scientific approach of targeting the latent forms of growth factors, said Young Chung, MD, Chief Medical Officer of ScholarRock. These interim data support the continuation of the Topaz trial, and we look forward to engaging with regulatory authorities regarding our registrational trial plans. Top-line data from the 12-month treatment are anticipated between April and June 2021. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. Remember, I've linked this document down in the description of my video, so make sure you go down and click on the document and print it and show it to your doctors as well. If you enjoyed this episode, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that I do. I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor this upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. God bless you, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.